Many serious games that are designed to promote learning, habit formation or behavior change are most effective when played regularly in short bursts. This pattern of play is known as snacking. However, in the context of serious games, little has been known about how individual game mechanics support player adherence over time. In our previous work, we developed a framework of five game mechanics which encourage sustained engagement in successful casual games. Namely, rewards, immediate gratifications for the player's actions, novelty, providing players with new game elements, completion, explicitly assigned tasks, quests or goals, blocking, temporarily prohibiting the playing, and waiting, game mechanics that outbreak the players through hindrance of their progress or restricting access to resources. Our previous work evaluated the framework using a casual game and showed that these game mechanics can facilitate player behavior that is characterized by playing frequently in short sessions. However, it is unclear how these results translate into the context of serious games or into games engaged completely under player's own violation. So in this work we investigated how do different games game mechanics affect player attrition in a serious game. We designed a field study where we released six versions of a math learning game for mobile devices and observed how the participants play over the course of three weeks. As a testbed for our experiment, we developed a serious game where we could include snacking mechanics individually on top of a base game. We designed a simple math learning mobile game called Infinitus Algebraica. The game shows numbers and operators arranged on a grid and the goal is to solve as many equations as possible by selecting the corresponding tiles. We generated 350 levels in total, which become more difficult through the progression. And to provide a ground for the snacking mechanics, we implemented 13 power-ups with an inventory system and visual skins, as well as background music as rewards. For the base game, we disabled the power-ups and the inventory system, also the visual skins, background music and all the levels are unlocked at the beginning. For rewards, we used the scoring mechanic as power-ups. For completion, we used an achievement system with 48 missions for completion. For completing a mission, the player received power-ups, skins and music. For novelty, we implemented an RPG-like level-up system with 40 ranks. At milestone levels, the players receive skins, music and power-ups. In blocking, we restricted the playtime to 10 minutes every 8 hours. In waiting, the power-ups were generated over time. Every 8 hours, the game selected and spawned power-ups. For the remaining time until regeneration, we displayed a countdown and a notification inside the game. We first conducted a single session pre-study on Amazon Amter with 50 participants to evaluate the player experience of the game and to validate the compatibility between the game versions. The analysis showed no significant differences in personality factors or incoming motivation between the conditions. To investigate the effect of game mechanics on adherence, we designed a three-week behavioral experiment in which the participants played in uncontrolled conditions. The game was distributed on mobile platforms iOS and Android. 149 players downloaded the game and 99 of them played Infinitus Algebraica at least once. The groups were comparable in terms of personality and incoming motivation. All conditions yielded a snacking behavior with play sessions of around 20 to 30 minutes and a regular break of around one and a half days. To investigate how the different conditions affect the player's adherence, we conducted a survival analysis. The analysis showed that the conditions facilitated different player behaviors. In novelty, waiting and rewards, the participants played more intensively in the first days and dropped off quickly. In contrast, completion and blocking mechanics facilitated the strongest sustained engagement over three weeks. Completion yielded by far the longest participation with the game. While in most conditions the participants stopped playing after around 10 days, the participants in completion condition engaged with the game for around 20 to 25 days. In conclusion, the snacking mechanics may facilitate sustained engagement and can provoke the snacking pattern of play in serious games. The snacking game mechanics are an effective method to design games towards a desired pattern of play. And in context of serious games, meaningful and clear goals are most effective to facilitate sustained engagement. Thank you for your attention.